The brush roll assembly consists of the wooden roller with the brushes attached and the end bearings. After years of use, the brushes on the roller can wear out. The bearings can also wear out and fail. Replacing the brush roll assembly is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the roller cover from the underside of the vacuum. To remove it, I pull on the metal tab. Now remove the motor shaft cap. I'll use a screwdriver to pry it away from the housing. Now remove the belt from the motor shaft. The easy way to do this is to turn the roller backwards. Then the belt will pull itself off the shaft. With the belt removed from the motor shaft, now I can pull the roller assembly away from the vacuum. Now I can install the new roller assembly. Before I remove the belt from the roller, you'll notice that there's an arrow stamped into the roller. The arrow should point to the right hand side. So I'll remove the roller from the belt and place the belt around the new roller. And I'll look for the arrow. There's the arrow. I have it pointing to the right hand side and now this assembly is ready to go back into the vacuum. I align the bearings with the holders in the vacuum housing. Now I can reinstall the belt. As I do that, I need to twist the belt onto the shaft. You'll notice on the cover that there's a diagram showing the direction that the belt should be twisted. To install the belt, I'll place a screwdriver through the belt so I can pull it tight around the motor shaft. As I do this, I'll twist the belt onto the shaft towards the left side of the vacuum. If the belt's twisted the wrong direction, it'll fall off when you turn on the vacuum. Now I can reinstall the motor shaft cover, and I'll finish up by reinstalling the brush roll cover. And that's all it takes to install a new brush roll assembly in your vacuum. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.